Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So, I'm constantly going to car boot sales, which if you don't know, here in the UK it's like, I don't know, a garage sale, but basically everyone just gets their cars together and then sell stuff out of the boot of their car. It's quite cool. So, um, I'm constantly going there and picking stuff up and, you know, I'm always kind of coming up with different projects and different stuff, so I figured that I'll start a new series whereby I'll basically call it, I don't know, car boot electrical fines or something like that and then any of the electrical engineering kind of stuff that I'm interested in that I buy at the car boot sales I'll just do a video on it tell you about how much I paid for it and then tell you kind of my ideas and what I'm thinking about so as you can see here I've got one iMac those I think it's G5 so I'm not sure another one smaller one the other iMac which is similar to the iMac that I've got over there and then I've got a projector which I'm actually really looking forward to hopefully it works um, which has HDMI ports. I've got two graphics cards, uh, Sony Ericsson speakers, two f uh, CPU cooling fans, and then a desktop computer, which has a hard drive, disk drive, and I believe no RAM. So what I'm going to do is in this video, I'm going to go through how much I pay for all of them. All in, this whole thing costs £27. So imagine that. Amazing, right? So... I haven't tested any of them. I'm assuming that none of them work because, you know, how could you get it all for that cheap? So the hope is that I'll do some sort of projects with them. I'm thinking that these two just look really cool as like gaming, especially like some sort of retro gaming, Pyth, something. So I think I might do that, maybe turn them into media centers, stick Raspberry Pis in all three of them. Who knows? But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with any of them, but let's just go through now. I'll take them. I'll Talk, talk you through what each one of them one by one, tell you how much I paid for it, and then tell you what my thoughts are with each of them. So maybe we'll test some of them as well. All right, so let's jump in. Let's start with the first one. We'll go through the iMacs first. So here we have the largest iMac. I'm not sure about the screen size. So let's check it. It's a um, 20 inch. Seems like. 19, uh, a bit over 19, it's like 19 and a half inches. I don't really know much about these iMacs, can it rotate? Okay, it can't rotate this way. It seems to be a bit off tilt, the screen. It doesn't seem to be straight. All right, I don't know what iMac it is. Let's see if we can find out. It swivels around, that's quite cool. Never had one of these iMacs before. Very, very heavy. Probably, I don't know, I guess like 10, 15 kilos. Okay, nothing on the base or on the back, so let's look underneath. Right, let's put the screen down. Ah, oh, that's heavy. Okay, so, so it's 2003. So I believe it's an iMac G4, late 2003, 20 inch model. It says it's 40 pounds. It's the heaviest iMac at the time. Apparently it comes with 1.2 gigahertz CPU, 256 meg of RAM. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. It doesn't actually look like it's been opened. I mean, it's covered in hair and it's got like loads of dust stuff. I mean, does that look like it's been opened? Maybe it has. We'll obviously open it up. All right, so I don't actually have the cable to power this, so we're just gonna have to put that to one side for now and I'll order it on eBay. And we'll move on to the next one. All right, so this is the next iMac. You're familiar with this one. This is the one that I've used, although it actually looks a bit smaller, so let's test. It is 17 inches, so it's the same actually as the one I've already converted. This here looks, it looks very, very, it's very dirty. Model number A1173-2006. I believe it's the exact same. This one's probably the worst condition. So there's a clip or something broken in there. You can see there. I don't know what that is. There's something stuck in there. I'm going to assume somebody's already opened this because look, it just comes away here. Yeah, I, this, with the condition that this one's in, I'm going to guess it's not working, but let's give it a go. Plug it in, see what happens. All right, so that's plugged in now. Press the power button. Oh, look at that. Dead screen. 
Apple Logos, ne? Oh, ja. Ja, ich fühle die Bütte da. Das ist hilarious. Das ist absolut hilarious. Es looks like it just needs a new screen. That's funny, it's actually responsive. Giphy dot gif. That's the um I don't know that Christmas movie thing. Macintosh HD. Oh, where's it gone? Where's the dock? Oh, iDVD Safari Final Cut Pro. Who was using Final Cut Pro in this? That's hilarious. Alright, so we're connected to the internet. Let's go on to YouTube. Please update your browser, bloody hell. Okay, so something else I could do. This screen is dirty. I don't know why I'm cleaning it, considering I'm going to change it anyways. I'm super, super surprised that this actually works. Uh, I don't know. Man United. David Beckham tribute. Yeah, so I mean it's not usable, is it? It's it's incredibly slow, etc. So um in case I think I forgot to mention, but I paid five pounds for this. I paid five pounds for each of the Macs, so this for five quid I'm super happy with. I doubt the screen's gonna cost me much to replace. Although it might be hard to get a working iMac screen. And to be honest, I, actually, I might even, I think I might even have my old one. I think I might have the, the other one, so that's funny if that works, but I'm dying to see if the speakers and stuff work. Well, actually, we know they worked because I heard the chime, didn't I? Cool. All right, we'll leave this one here. So glad to see that this works. I'm very happy about that. I was not expecting that at all. Let's jump to the next one. All right, so here's the next iMac. Again, no idea what this one is. It's significantly smaller than that one, so yeah. It's such an odd size. I hate this. This aspect ratio is horrible. It just reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> right, so let's flip it over, take a look at what it is. I'm guessing there's nothing on the back. Yeah, playing again. Bass as well. This thing's heavy as well. Yeah, let's flip it over and take a look at the underneath. Alright. So, uh, same time again. Um, this one is 2002 this time. Number, okay, model number M6498. And it's the 15 inch M6498. 15 inch. Bought this for a fiver. I'll buy that uh, cable that will power this and then, yeah. I mean, I'm hopeful. The fact that that one turned on, I'm hopeful that these two will turn on as well. So, okay, so I can't test this one, so let's move on to the next one and then I'll give you guys an update on if I manage to get the cable and test it. So the next thing I got was this desktop computer. Don't really know anything. I'm actually, I don't know anything about desktop computers actually. I'll just show you here what this says. Windows 8 software. I mean, if you've got Windows 8 and you want to see real code, there you go. There's one you could use. And Inspiration Computers sold it some point at least anyways so that this kit this just this just comes off obviously and then as you can see there's no ram slots there it says that it takes ddr3 ram i don't know what cpu is underneath there the last computer i built was you know well over 15 years ago with my dad so i haven't actually bought computers since or built a computer I've only just used laptops, so I'm currently using the Dell XPS 13. So I don't really know what I'm looking at really. I mean obviously I know that's the, the fan and the CPU heatsink. And you can take a look probably at what CPU is underneath there. Yeah, I don't have any RAM sticks. Uh, I suppose that's the hard drive. That's the disk drive, and I assume that's the power supply underneath there. So I paid again five pounds for this. Here's the port. So suggest it's quite old, considering. Look at that bloody, um, 
mouse and keyboard port, VGA cable, DVI, four USBs. Yeah, so this is this is just going to be an old computer, isn't it? I mean, probably not even worth the five pound. But yeah, I mean, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I'm thinking that as I go around boot sales, try and buy a motherboard and try and buy RAM sticks and see if I can build a boot cell computer that's actually decent and see what the total price would be for a boot cell computer. So if we take five pounds as this is the base and then I'll purchase some more components when I go around boot cells and see what I can get. But let's just show you the front quickly. Open it. Oh, look at that opens. Uh, this drive. What's that? There's some sort of tag in there. Doug McKenzie. This is Doug McKenzie's computer. He probably never came for it. Maybe he got an upgrade. Cool. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to the next bit. All right. So next thing I got was this projector. I don't know anything about projectors at all. Is there even a brand on this one? I don't know. The main thing that made me get this was it was three quid and it had the HDMI ports. So I was like, oh, okay, that's not a very, very old one. So there's the ports. Two HDMIs, VGA in. Don't know what all this other stuff is TV antenna, etc. Power. This apparently does. I don't know what this does. Yeah, I've never owned a projector in my life, so. I mean, let's, let's look for, there's nothing on the back, let's look at the underneath. Ugh, that doesn't look great at all. What does that say? Something sounds like it's moving around in there. I mean, not a rat, like a screw. Uh, LED projector, model number HD504. 2012. So not that old, I suppose. 2012. I really have no idea what you do with these. I've seen them at Boots House Loads and I thought, you know what, this time I'll pick this one up. And that's all right, so that's plugged in. Just turn it on. Oh dear. I thought it was gonna explode there. Source menu. Oh, okay. Producing the blue screen source. Yeah, it does something, it's doing something. There is a bad smell coming out of this. Maybe in a few years you'll be able to smell that. I don't know, maybe in a decade. Can you smell it? I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't, it smells like burning. Yeah. I'm laughing. I mean, probably more than likely there'll be something that will be able to simulate a burning smell and play it out to you. So if you are watching this way in the future, sick. Yeah, three quid. I'm happy with that. All right, so this next thing, I mean, if you're if you're old now, like me, then you remember this. It's funny that being 28 is old nowadays. But yeah, this, the Sony Ericsson W810i speakers. I remember these speakers. These speakers were amazing. I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably cost like 60, 70 quid or something. What does that say? Nothing that I really understand. MPS 60, no idea what that, any of that means. I don't know much about sound technology. But yeah, I remember that these speakers were amazing and I don't know how much circuitry is in there. I assume I could buy an adapter for these. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't really have a use for these. I paid a pound. They're just, they're still in immaculate condition. But they look, they look fabulous. They look like they've never been used and to be, to be fair, they probably have, haven't been used. Even this. But yeah, pound for that. I'm very happy with that. No idea what I'm gonna do with it. Ideally, I'd like to try and figure out a way that I can get a sound to play out of these. Which, yeah, maybe just involves just snipping these off and then playing some sort of analog sound out of them. I assume all the digital circuitry is in here. So, yeah, we'll see. 
Alright, so this next thing that I got seems to be like some sort of graphics card. I looked at it briefly. I paid 50p for it. Actually, tell her, like, you know what? The guy actually gave me this one for free because I bought another one of him for 50p. So I actually got this one for free. I was planning on just taking off this heatsink and using this fan. Which would easily go on the Raspberry Pi. But let's see if I can find the name of it on here. No, yeah, I can't see it. I mean, this is that. I don't know what that means. Maybe if I type that in, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm going to assume it's a graphic card. The graphics card, that's the ports. I mean, yeah. I really don't know what this is or what I'm going to do with it. At a bare minimum, if I really am lost, I'll just practice my soldering and desolder some of this stuff. And I might try and buy a microscope and then try and do some surface mount desoldering as well. Shout out to Lewis Rossman, who's kind of motivated me to do that. So if you obviously, if you know what this is, shout me out in the comments, let me know. Cool. So I paid, got this one for free and then this one I paid 50p for, which I'm fairly, fairly certain with this huge heatsink that this is a graphics card. So on it, it actually shows the A600DT PCI 256MX DDR3 HDMI DVI. Made in China, that's a serial number. Did not remove sticker. Yeah, so I'm gonna assume this again is a graphics card. Like I said, I've never built a PC in my life. I don't know anything about uh, any of this kind of stuff, but I figured even just for the heatsink alone, 50p, why not? So I paid 50p for this and then got that one for free. So yeah, yeah, 50p and that for free, it's nice. All right, so I got these two CPU coolers for 50p, a fan and a fan, and then a heatsink attached to it. And again, a big giant fan with a heatsink attached to it. Again, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these, but you know, 50p, I'm not gonna complain. And I just, I never, I don't know anything about this, Akasa. What does it say? It says akasa.com.tw. Safety approved DC fan. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows, I might just chuck that on a breadboard and just make some crazy projects. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but again, 50p, I'm happy with that, so. Yeah, who knows, maybe graphics card and fans will go in, in that computer that I got, so, the desktop, who knows. But yeah, so that's the end of my boot cell finds for now. In the next video, we'll go through some cool stuff. I'll give you a sneak peek of what I got previously at the boot cell before I started doing these videos. I've got some cool stuff like that, so yeah. We'll go through that in the next video, as well as the next finds that I managed to get for my next boot cell find. So if you enjoyed this one, give it a like. And if you want to give me any advice or anything about any of this kind of stuff, please do. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.